With this Saturday marking the one year anniversary of the end of Roe versus Wade, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are using the moment to call for action. Fox's Mike Emanuel has the latest since last year's ruling in the Dobbs ending constitutional rights to an abortion. With this weekend marking one year since the Supreme Court's decision to reverse Roe v. Wade, lawmakers are speaking out. The fallout has been devastating. Democrats call the past year a major step backwards for women's rights. One year ago, Americans lost a constitutional right for the first time in history, and Republicans ripped it away. Whereas Republicans say Saturday's anniversary is call for celebration. We're celebrating the option to be able to be turned back to the American people where it was before, to be able to make the decision about the value of every single child. But both sides are marking the moment as a rallying cry saying more work needs to be done. We can't, uh, you know, let our foot off the gas here. We have to continue to push on this issue. This week, Democrats are working to force votes to codify reproductive rights into law. The United States Supreme Court took a constitutional right. The United States Congress has the power to put in place a protection of that individual privacy right. While many Republicans are pushing for a nationwide ban on abortion. However long it takes, we're going to continue to work until we restore the sanctity of life to the center of American law in every state in this country. With the 2024 presidential race underway, the abortion topic is one both sides hope will help drive supporters to the polls. In Washington, Mike Emanuel, Fox News.